Hello, today we're going to show you how to install your new metal drive toggle on your Lazy Boy chair that will be replacing this plastic piece that sits along your drive shaft, as well as the motor cap that was initially on this motor but is gone because it broke. We're going to start by just removing these staples. They go all around the arm, down to here, on both sides. Enough that we can expose the shaft that's right in there. So, start with that. I'm gonna stop the camera because, well, it's a boring process. Okay, now that the fabric is down and you can see the shaft from both sides, right in there on the end, next thing you're going to do is take a 7 16 wrench and just remove these on either side. I actually have these loosened to be honest with you. So, pop those off. Now, you also need to remove the bolts that those were sitting on that are going through the shaft. If you would like to, to make it easier to get to the heads, because you do not want to strip these, it will really ruin your day and your chair. So, to get better access, remove these springs here. You can probably do it by hand already remove the other one over here and that will make it so that you can now rotate this shaft around and get better access so we'll rotate around and now we can see the head now to remove the head you need a good a strong t30 bit you do not want to strip these i can't emphasize that enough you do not want to strip these so good t30 head ratchet and remove that bolt here and that bolt there okay now that the bolts are removed on both sides if you remove the springs that were holding these down you need to move this piece back up into the position it was in and reconnect the springs because right now the orientation of your shaft is incorrect so if you were to remove the shaft now and put the other piece on, it would be facing way downward and it wouldn't line up. So, I mean, if you have this, you can use that as a bracket. What I do is use how this will sit. So you make sure the footrest is closed and then move this piece, rotate the whole shaft back up and reconnect the spring on both sides. See, that will keep the orientation of your shaft correct so that you know exactly how to put that piece on. It'll only fit on one way when you do that. So I'm gonna reconnect these springs and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now our springs are reattached to the footrest, as you see on both sides, which keeps our orientation on the shaft correct to line back up with those holes after we remove it. So now what we're gonna do is remove this drive rod up to this point so we can take this plastic piece off and put the new metal piece on now i'm going to use another metal shaft that i have right here you probably don't have one of these sitting at home but a wooden dowel rod will work really anything you can use to push that through while holding all of these pieces in place as you go will make it much, much simpler to put back together afterward. 
So I'm gonna start pushing this drive rod through with a hammer, just banging it on the end and feeding it through all of these holes up until that point. So now that I've pushed the second shaft all the way through, you can see it poking out here, and here's the original shaft, which, because the springs are hooked up, has stayed in its original position. I'm just gonna back this one up a little bit. And that will make it so that I can remove this old drive toggle. Bars that sit around it and pop those off too. They're stuck on there. Kind of good. Don't know why. Give me one second. Okay. Is it gonna pop that off? Pop that off. So there goes the old one. Now we're gonna take the shaft that we started with and just feed that back uh, pick up that bar so it can sit onto there I don't need two hands Now it's through that bar. Come over here. I'm going to take two of the plastic spacers. And put one on like that. See the edge facing toward where the drive toggle will go. We're going to want it to go underneath that bar. And we'll take another one. And you can really do it either way. I'm going to go this way. Just like that. <clears throat> and then we'll take our new drive toggle and exactly how it fits on because the footrest is closed and because the springs are hooked up and they're touching the bottom of the footrest and when these rotate to open it, everything is in the correct orientation. So basically we're right in front of the motor We'll pop that on. It slides right on, no problem. Just so you can see the angle that it'll be at. Just like that is how you want it. And then, give myself a little more room there to just get the other end on. Okay. So now that's on. The other two plastic spacers will go right here. Now, we're gonna, for, we're gonna feed this back through and then I'll show you how to hook the motor up to your new metal drive toggle. Just to get one last look at the angle there of how it will sit in the chair. You'll notice that the cutout right there is on the top and the, it should angle upward about 30 degrees. To where it will meet the motor. So I'm just going to push our original shaft back the way through and get this little just other shaft out of there. And then I will hook up our plastic rat tail piece on the motor. Okay. Okay. So I push the shaft back in and through. Got it right where it's supposed to be. And then we reattach these bolts. And with the leg rest still closed, everything in the position we did basically everything in. We're going to close the motor just about as far as it'll go. Maybe even a little bit out because you got to make those holes line up. So I'm going to just... running a little bit, make the holes line up, take this piece here and you're going to fit it into that slot, 
line that up with the holes, line the motor up with the holes. Yeah, I'll try to do this one handed. But, uh, I don't know how to prop up a pump. And there. Put it together. Got it in. done you can see how everything is orientated how that piece sits and then you'll see that black piece when it opens up it's this piece and opens up the footrest and that's how it looks all the way open see that and then we'll go backward all the way closed That's it. Now you have a metal shaft that'll last uh, the lifetime of the chair. Good luck.